two years ago I read this document um, from a police interview from a man who in 2002 had, very, um, had, had repeatedly and very violently raped a number of prostituted women in Australia. And his, his answer to the question, why did, you do th- why did you do this in the interview, was, I paid for her, I can do what I want with her. Um, and ten years later, that man was out on parole and he raped and murdered my wife. And I think when you look, when you look at something like that, um, we tend to tell ourselves, um, probably in, in, in some cases it's justified to tell ourselves, that that's an outlier and it's, a, it's an unhinged but essentially rare sort of badge on. And in many ways he is, and I'm certainly not saying that all men who, who, who purchase sex will do what he did. If you pay for sex, your money's not buying consent. It's paying for the temporary suspension of her desire not to consent. And that's coercion. So how can we keep telling ourselves that this, that this is about freedom, or about the private, private affairs of two consenting adults? How can we, as activists promoting affirmative consent, call any of this consensual? If we continue with this lie, how can we avoid compartmentalising women? If we stand over the purchase of sex as consensual, then affirmative consent can only apply outside of the marketplace, creating a class of women to whom our ideas of consent do not apply. It's really most important to me that men start to say to each other in their private conversations, away from women, where we're not hearing them, look, it's just not okay. You know she's not in prostitution, whoever she may be, for any other reason that than that she's been exploited, and that's what brought her there. And I can tell you from my time on the streets and in the brothels, I never, ever came across a case of a woman who walked out of a well-paying job with any kind of um, security in a career and into a brothel. It just doesn't happen, and it doesn't happen for a reason. I know women who have been sex trafficked in the purest form of the term, women who've been kidnapped, slung into the back of vans and taken to brothels and sold there. And I can tell you, one of the most moving things anyone has ever said to me since I began this activism was a young woman who had been trafficked and she said, Rachel, don't ever think that we don't know that you went through just what we went through in the brothels. Uh, She said, we do know because we were there, right alongside you.